we have come, as I said yesterday, to take final farewell to a great Kenyan patriot. Now, I want to say a few things today about Mwamwai Kibaki. I want to say that the life and history of Mwamwai Kibaki is very much contemporaneous with the history of independent Kenya. Because as you said, Kibaki resigned from teaching to come and join the liberation movement. He was the chief executive officer of the then the most vibrant national movement for liberation, KANU. And in the elections of 1963, Kanu won the elections, beating the then opposition Kadu. Then, after that, Kenya became first independent, eventually a republic. So he was assistant minister, minister, vice president, and a president, leader of opposition. But development in Kenya after independence are very much akin to what took place in the rest of the African continent. The constitution that brought independence was a fairly liberal constitution with a devolved system of government called Majimbo. And through a series of amendments, Majimbo was, was disbanded then, also, several amendments were introduced to the Constitution, which basically reduced, removed power from the periphery to the center. We ended up with a very authoritarian, already called imperial presidency. To cap it all, in 1982, they brought Section 2A, which introduced a single party system. They were introduced by the then Attorney, uh, Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, our late friend Charles Jonju. Mwai Kibaki is the one who seconded it. I'm saying this because it's good for us to say it. We have had a long discussion with him. He did not know the implications. He later on himself became a victim of it all. Because in 1988, they brought Bulonongo system of election. What was, they called them that open democracy. Then, after that, they did the reshuffle and was removed from being vice president, made minister of health. He did not feel humiliated. He stayed there as a gentleman. Some of us were fighting for repeal of Section 2A and uh, reintroduction of party politics. But because he was inside that system, he said that it is not possible to introduce uh, a multi party system. But those of us who were calling for it were like somebody cutting a mugumo tree, the razor blade. Fortunately, with the fall of Berlin Wall, the wind of change that was blowing in Eastern Europe began to also blow in Africa. And through it, Section 2A went. And now we are allowed to form a political party. And Kibaki said that he's in his deep mind, he has always cherished multi-party system and immediately resigned from Kanu to form DP.